welcome to autocad training so we will start with our first lecture so first command we are going to see in autocad is limits command so we create the space for our drawing using limits command so you can uh, directly type it that command limits after giving any autocad command you have to press enter once you give enter it will show what is to be done so here it is asking for reset model space limit specified lower left corner so here lower left corner will be always 0 comma 0 or you can change as per requirement for in most of the cases 0 comma 0 is sufficient then you can give again enter where you when you give any input after that you to confirm that you have given the input you have to press enter so i am giving here enter then you asking me the specify upper right corner so here a space has been defined with lower left corner and upper right corner so th these are the two points of the rectangle of your space required so here suppose i want uh, object to be created of 100 by 100 size so i will give 100 comma 100 and again i will press enter so these limits are given to the uh, limits are accepted by autocad but this limit should be uh, for appl uh, to apply these limits you have to give zoom all command so to give zoom all command you just have to give z for zoom z is the shortcut just give z enter then give for all a as a shortcut so give zoom all so it will apply the limits after that suppose you i want to create a line so here is a line command so you can all uh, command name is line you can also give the line command using l as a shortcut so yeah, i will say line then he is asking me for the specified first point of the line so with first mouse button i can click from where i want to start a line suppose i want to start a line from here so i will click here then he is asking me for the specified next point or here you can see you can specify the length and angle also and suppose i want to draw a straight line so i can make a ortho on here either by pressing f8 also i can do that if you make the ortho on once ortho is on then your line will be straight either vertical or horizontal so you have to say the direction in which direction you want to go, go. take your cursor there and just put the length uh, put the le length of the line of what length you want to draw suppose i want to draw a line of 50 length so i will say 50 and enter then this line of 50 has been drawn so after this i want to draw a vertical line so i will take the cursor above and again i will see 50 length then i will come i want to go on the left side so i will again say 50 so uh, during the uh, line creation if uh, some line gets wrong then you can undo it here undo option is there so to take that undo option you just say u and enter so you that will undo the last drawn command so i am creating this line again and here with undo there is one more option is there called close so using that close command you can connect the start and end point of the line so here i will say for close i will so you have to give only the capital letter you don't have to write down the complete close so i will give you a c enter and in this way this l square is created using line command so if i don't want this object i can erase it using erase command the shortcut for erase command is e you can also give e and enter suppose i say erase then he's asking me to select object which object i want to erase so i will select i have to uh, take my cursor this is called this small box is called as pick box so you have to take that pick box on the object and click the first mouse button so it will select the object once all object has been selected then you have to press the enter to say that you have selected all the objects so in this way you can erase the object again suppose i want to create a line then he is asking me first point then again now this time i don't want a straight line i want a, a line in some angle so again i will make the ortho off or by pressing f8 also i can do that so here you can say we can specify length and angle so i will specify length of suppose 50 then for specifying the angle you just have to press the tab button so you will be going into the angle area and here you can give the angle suppose i want to give the angle of 30 so you have to define the angle from the x axis so the x is 0 and in that direction you have to specify from that means uh, this to this angle is 30 degree so again i am going above so again i have to specify the length length is 50 tab 
angle angle again i will specify from the x axis so angle is suppose my angle is 120 degree so it is going in the 120 direction same way suppose i want to go on downward side again here also you have to specify the angle with respect to x axis and length length is 50 tab angle angle is suppose again 150 is the angle so from zero you have to specify the angle there is no minus so that means you have to specify the angle with respect to zero suppose in above side 0 to 180 i can specify in the above portion this portion if i want to go here you can say it is a suppose 30 degree 60 like that i can go up to 180 degree same thing is for a downward side also when you want to go downward you just take your cursor downward and specify the angle with respect to x so here i will say suppose 150 degree so in this way i can specify the length and angle both so if i want to come out of the line then i have to press the enter again suppose i don't want this object so i will delete it then suppose i have two lines so i will press enter uh, press f8 and make the line straight suppose i have these two lines you can also come out of the line by pressing right click and either pressing uh, clicking on enter or cancel then suppose i want to draw a line from this point to this point so i will say line and i will take cursor to the near to that point so it is showing a orange color square around that point so this is called as object snap so it is showing end point as object snap so i will click on that point so it will catch exactly the end point then i will uh, taking my line to this end point then i can uh, i will ma make ortho up using f8 so if i take my point to the mid of the line it automatically shows me the mid point then end point end point now suppose i want to draw this line perpendicular to this line but it is not showing perpendicular it is showing either mid point or if i go on the upper corner it is showing as a end point so to give a perpendicular as object snap the one uh, one way is to press your shift button and right click so you will have the complete list of the object snaps so from here you can select what you want suppose i want perpendicular so i will say perpendicular then i have to click on the line for which i want to draw it perpendicular in this way you can select the object snap by manual object snap by pressing shift and right clicking the mouse button so to create a circle uh, circle command is there circle then he is asking me specify center point of circle suppose i want to draw it at the midpoint of this line so i will click on that midpoint then he is asking me for the radius specify the radius of circle suppose radius of circle is 5 so circle of radius 5 has been created suppose i want to create one more circle area for circle c is a shortcut if you want to give it from keyboard then circle give the radius radius is 10 so as we seen that for a uh, line there are different object snaps like end point mid point same way there are for circle also quadrant is there circle have four quadrants in the four corners then circle also have the center point suppose i want to create a line from this end point tangent to this circle so again i have to press shift and right click and i have to select tangent object snap here so uh, then i have to select on circle then it will draw the line tangent and there are undo is also available if you want to cancel the last command you can undo it and redo is also available if you uh, whatever you have done uh, whatever you have undone that you can uh, bring back using redo command so in this way our first lecture of autocad is completed thanks for joining